ke dutsi mona le aus wendi ya batlang hore bella hanyane ka yena eh hape hape ona le for our teacher in studio aus wendi dumela mela o pitse handle pitse handle ya a tshi ka netile na ke a lebo ha o pitse o ko re bolela hanyane fela hore aus wendi ke ke motho a joang eh ke ri mo hlomong di ntho tsa diratang okay ke bitsela ka ke wendi ke i'm kind of shy but ke a tseba ke tlo yetsa ke tlo botsa handle question so um you are in grade 12 le monse na sephameng what are your goals for yourself mo hlomong ha next year ho ya ho le motse tharo tsetlang okay i want to achieve my goal of being in engineering and mechanical engineering yeah that's when I, that's what i want to be when i grow up what is your question to our teacher in studio? So my question is, I want to know how does the future value annuity formula work? The future value annuity formula. Now guys, Matrix in studio, this gives a lot of problems because let me tell you something guys. You, the worst thing you can do is learn different methods off by heart. Okay. It is totally insane to do that. There's one formula called the future value formula that you're going to use, and you can use it even in difficult questions that come up. Now stick with Galez and Nati. I'm going to show you something that will make financial maths a complete joke. Okay, you ready for this? Now watch this. Let me explain to you. Now, I'm going to start off with a very simple question. Okay, now girls, you, you, you said to me you did, I know Benedict said she did financial maths and she did the formulas. Now check this out. I want you to watch this question. It says, suppose at the beginning of the month, now at the beginning of the month, a th please listen, before I even go on, do not get confused with where the money's paid, whether it's the beginning of the month or the end of the month. You know that kind of thing and you get all confused about where it is and what formula to use. You need one formula and one formula alone. Now watch this. Suppose at the beginning of the month, a thousand rand is paid. There's the red a thousand rand. It's paid into a bank. Okay, now let's have a look. At the end of that month, a further thousand rand is deposited and then a further thousand rand at the end of the second month. Okay, the interest rate is 6% per annum compounded monthly. How much will have been saved at the end of the second month? So let's look at a timeline. I always love timelines. Uh, what you've got here is a thousand rand is the red one. Can you see that there? That's paid in January the 1st, okay, on that day. At the end of the month, the blue a thousand rand is paid in, okay. At the end of the second month, another thousand rands paid. How many months have passed from T0 to T2? You can tell me, Amanda, if you go from T0 to T1 to T2, how many months have passed? Months or years? Uh, months. Are we in months? Yo, hey, months. Yo, months. <laughs> Come on. If you go, it's, it's two months. You see there? Yeah, no, I was testing <laughs> okay. you. Of course you, it's two months. How, man, how? Okay, it's two months. Now, guys, now listen to me because this is the most important thing with, with this whole section. Two months is the time period. Do you agree? If you start at January, the beginning of January, the end of January, that's a month. Okay, then at the end of February is a month. Now look at the timeline. There is, if you just take that carefully, let's have a look at this. Can you see that there's two months? How many payments were made in that, two, in that period of two months? Have a look at the screen. How many payments were made? So three. three. Can you see there? The thousands of T naught, a thousand at T1, a thousand at T2. So people, when you make a payment at the beginning, at T naught, and you go all the way for two months, you've made three payments. Listen, one at the beginning, one at the end of the month, and one a month later. So look how easy that is. Can you see that there? Okay, now, we know that what, now remember from grade 11 days, what we're gonna do is we wanna know how much money will have been saved. Now it's not 3,000. Listen to me, if you put money in the bank, they, they give you interest. So at the end of that month, you're gonna make money. Your money is making money. That's why it's so important to save. Okay, now watch this. So you've got that, if we just look at it carefully here, a thousand rand, that red thousand rand, have a look here, is gonna grow for two months. You've put that money in the bank. Now remember from grade 11, it's gonna grow for two months. Do you see? Okay, now, how do we grow it? Well, we use the formula, A is equal to P, one plus, the interest rate is 0, 0,6, 6% 6 divided by 12, 
for two months. You happy with that formula? Okay, Mzanzi, are you happy with it? I'm sure you are. Okay, now listen carefully. Now we grow it. Now look at that. At the end of the two months, you've got a thousand, but you've made 10 rand and three cents. You see how it's growing? Okay, now that's the red one. Now what happens with the blue one? How many months will it grow till T2? It grows for one month. Look at that. So it's gonna grow for one month. It, you remember, we want to know how much money you'll have at the end of the two months, you see. So the thousand rand's grown. Okay, so we've got now 1,005 rand, a little bit less because it's less time to grow. Now, if you carry that further, the amount at T2 has just been deposited into the bank and no interest will have been earned for this payment as yet. So then we have no interest on the naught. So it's a thousand. A equals P is a thousand, one plus naught common naught six over 12 for no, in other words, there's no time for that money to grow. So a thousand rands just paid in. So now watch this. If you look at this carefully, if we look at the timeline again, how many payments are there goals? Three. How long has the savings plan been? How many months? Two. Two. Two, yes, you see. So the number of payments is very important. Okay, now check this out. The total amount of money saved at the end of the second month called F, future value, will be the sum of all of those payments. So look at this. We take the one at the beginning, it's T naught. You see there, it's grown for two months. Then we take the one at T1, which grows for one month and then the one at T2, which had no time to grow. You just put money in the bank and you got it. Now, if you use your calculator to work that out, you're gonna get 3,015 Rand and three cents. So what has happened? Your money's made money. Now, 50, you might say, look, 15 Rand is not a lot of money. That's in two months. The power of compound interest is that if you start saving up for many, many months, say you as, as young girls, you know, there's in soliciting, she leaves school and she, she starts paying money in. She's gonna, it'd be amazing how much money you make there. But now listen carefully, there's another way to do this, people. Now watch this. There's a thing called the future value annuity formula. Now watch this. It looks like that, have a look at that. It's, they give this to you on the formula sheet, F for future value. Okay, now, have a look at what we do. The N, okay, X is the payment, which is a thousand rand. Now, N, write this down, write this down. If you're in Mpumalanga or in Cape Town or in Gauteng, write this down. N is the number of payments. Everybody in studio, say after me. N, N is, is the, the number, number of payments. payments. Yes. That's the key thing that people get wrong. And we, and then of course, I as the interest rate is a decimal. Okay, now, very important you watch this. This is where the magic begins. When you do that calculation with our three payments, do you know that your X is your 1,000 Rand? Now look at the formula, 1,000, one plus naught comma naught six over 12 because it's monthly. The three is the N, subtract one, over 0, 0, 6 over 12. Now, when you do that, 3,015 Rand and three cents. The formula helps you to do the same calculation. But now the magic of this formula, now listen to me guys, we're gonna do the exact same thing, but now notice, at the beginning of the month, a thousand Rand is deposited into a bank. At the end of the month, a further thousand Rand is deposited, and a further thousand Rand at the end of the next month. If the interest rate is 6%, how much will be saved after eight years? Okay, now you can't, I mean, look at this timeline. Now watch this. I want you to go T0, T1, T2. How many payments were there? Three. Three. Now look at that, there's one at T0. If there wasn't a payment at T0, it would be one and two. There'd be two payments. But because there's one at T0, you go here, see that two, that end there, that two, you add one, which is three payments. Now look at this. 8 times 12 is 96, do you agree? 8 times 12, 8 years times 12 months is 96. 96 months, but now have a look at this. Go to the end there, that last payment. 96 months, but there's a payment at T naught. so let's see if we get it right. How many payments are there? Not 96, 90? Hallelujah, seven. 97 payments, you see. Now that is important in the formula. 97 payments, you see that there? And then we work it out, we plug in our values, 
and there we have the answer. So remember, N is the number of payments, future value. And Plumino put Lana Conju put Tikamanakawani, Uchoch, who put two church, put in Galusele and Nani, Ucele, Ucele, Nabugel, Betu, Emakaya, Wooty, when Ekaslako, E Orange Farms, E Nens, Wooty, we claim to be part of this community. I orange farm in future, orange farm is a creator, I'm a star, like I'm a lawyer, football player, Sintenza, Wooting is claiming, I use the other, you committed to Wenza is in Dezin. Specifically, to contribute to the community. I'm going to study hard and go to study in, in this to become a lawyer. To be the famous one who comes from Orange Farm. And fairly representing us like Ranja. I know, see, six for selling plants. I put a Australia and Nanaga OT equation on I for our teacher eating. What happens when the final payment in an annuity is made and the money is left to grow? Okay guys, very good question. This is one of the big demon questions in the country at the moment. I just want to clear up something that Toomey said. He's not strictly wrong, but there's a little bit of a thing about N. It can be the number of years or the number of payments, but let me show you something. I'm going to go to, before we even answer this question, I want you to have a look here. All right, now I want you to watch this. Amanda, you can help me on this one. Mm. This is three months. Okay, you're with me. And let's put a hundred rand there, a hundred rand there, and a hundred rand there. How many payments were made in three months? Uh, there is three. Three payments, yeah. Three. In other words, how many how many payments are there? Three. three. So N in this case could be the number of payments, or as Tumi said, the number of years. However, now Mzanzi, watch this. You've got to listen to me, um, everybody. If I put a payment at T naught, how many are there now? Four. Four. Do you see that? When you invest money, the moment you put that 100 Rand in to the bank at T naught, and then you put another one in at the end of the month, then you have four payments. So when there's a payment at T naught, there will be four payments. So always remember, N strictly speaking is the number of payments. If there is no payments made at T naught, then of course there will be three. Do you see yeah. that there? So here we go. Now let's look at the actual question to clarify this. Now you don't need formulas, guys. In order to supplement his state pension after retirement, a school teacher aged 30 takes out a retirement savings plan called an annuity. He makes monthly payments of a thousand rand into the fund and the payments start immediately. That's a T naught. The payments are made in advance, which means that the last payment is made one min month before the thing pays out. Okay, now watch this. Interest rate 12%. Now calculate the future value in 25 years time. Now watch this guys, if you go from, if you look at it, it's a period of 300 months. If you just go back and look at that, it's going to be, it says from at the age of, of 30, okay. And it's gonna be, he goes for 25 years. What's 25 times 30? 25 <laughs> times 30. Three, that's 300, yeah. Yeah, I got you on the spot yeah. there. It's 300 months, okay. So look at that, it's 300 months. But his last payment is made one month before. Now look at this, ignore this, this 300 at the moment. There's a payment made at T0, where does it end? At T299. Now that's 299 months, okay. Mm. How many payments are made? Careful now. There's one at T naught. So how many payments are made? There's 299 months, but one is made at T naught. So they are? There, you see, you got it. The number of payments is 300. Now watch the screen, guys. Naught comma one, two over 12, naught comma naught one. Okay, now let me show you how easy this is. The future value formula works to T299, but a total of 300 payments are going to be made. Okay, are you with me? Now watch this, watch the screen. If you look at this, the accumulated amount, that's the amount at T300, that's in a period of um, 300 months. Look at this carefully. The future value starts there. Okay, so I'll circle it and we use the formula 300 payments. Can you see that there? Okay, then what you simply do, you then grow it for one month, you see and it grows there, and then you get your answer. Okay, so there we go. A is equal to that, grow it for a month, and you've got that, and I hope that answers then the question.